Pedestrian way apparently is not a new thing that keeps spreading across the city. Many cities in Indonesia are on the race to improve their pedestrian ways for getting better, and of course, it makes the society feel safe and comfortable to walk. And now, I'm gonna show you the latest progress of pedestrian way projects in Ayanibur, the city of Pontianak. Pedestrian way in governor's office reached amounts 60% at all. The design looks conservative within incorporate cultural elements such as the Dayu motif and wood accents on its fences. This project is programmed by the Department of PUP of Republic Indonesia will be finished in the next year. The other plus runway projects is located around Pendapa Governor and Federal Street. This project is also programmed by the Department of PUP of Republic Indonesia. Although it is too early to find the form and its function, but when we look it up to the render, which posted by Governor of West Kalimantan in 25 December last year, this is will not only be human pedestrian way, but also has functioned as the large open space for all society. One step across from the Pandopa Governor, there are another pedestrian way projects, exactly in front of Museum, Ibis Hotel, and Taman Budaya. These projects will be connecting each other and might be used in the next year. Despite it's still unknown where to stop, the rumors say it will be just up to Tuspen building. For the last is pedestrian way in Plaza de Gouis. This is a continuation from the previous project which was completed in 2019. Constructed by the government of Pontianak City, the design looks linear, equipped by bicycle line, street lights, guiding block, bollards, and sitting area with ornament of colorful charak insang, which makes this city will never lose its identity. Surprisingly, the revitalization of auditorium courtyard has been started too. It is the most awaited project for the next year. All of these projects are expected to be sustainable alongside of Ayani Road. It proposes to save pedestrians on walking and hopefully can change image of the city becoming pedestrian friendly city in Indonesia. Enjoy and let's discover Pontianak.